The media today plays a significant role in our lives. Be it the electronic, print, or the social media, it can be used to facilitate learning, spread of ideas, thoughts, and information, entertainment, building social networks and communities. We are constantly at interaction with the media for the most part of our everyday lives. Should we ask for Mary's help in our daily use of the media? Yes, most certainly, since we are greatly influenced and controlled by what the media controllers feed us in all aspects of our lives, we should always pray for the spirit of discernment, self-control and honesty. As Christians, we pray to Mother Mary for the grace not to be entangled in the web of deception, threats, group or individual, evils and satanic manipulations that has eaten deep into the media, but rather embrace the good benefits, spiritual, educational, health, and so on. We run to Mary to reward our positive efforts with her guide and protection. First, information. Many today care less about what they feed the public. On the other hand, many also care less about what they are being fed. Either as a case of deception, spread of falsehood, attack on the people, and so on, or as a case of gullibility, culpability, ignorance, and so on, every Christian should pray for the grace not to be involved directly, indirectly, or as an accomplice. We pray daily to Mary for the grace to use our privileges in the media, either as a sender or as a receiver, for the good of humanity. We pray daily for her help to avoid the spread of false information and to be critical thinkers or consumers. We pray to Mary for the grace to be avatars of salvific content in our use of media for our personal good and that of the community. Second, family social interaction or bond. Unfortunately, the media today, especially social media, has taken away from humanity the love beauty and splendor of the family, social interaction and bond. Face-to-face -face communication, healthy time spent together, children play and building of strong bond and trust are dying fast. Every parent should ask for Mary's help to avoid joining this unfortunate bandwagon who have replaced parent-child relationship, family reunion, thanksgivings and so on with the use of social media and electronic media like television and radio. As Christians, we pray to Mary, Mother of Good Cancer, for the grace to know and discern the proper place and use of the media, especially electronic and social media, in our families, schools, institutions, churches, interest groups, movements, associations and so on. Third, overindulgence. Indeed, excess of everything is bad, and the excessive use of the media is destructive. It destabilizes and destroys everything good about us. Time, programs, activities, health, brain function, respects, privileges, just name it. It makes a mockery of our values and commitment to ourselves and others. Many have failed in exams, missed interviews and appointments, missed flights, developed hazardous health issues, involved in automobile accidents and so on because of overindulgence in the media. A lot have even abandoned their prayers, spiritual life and God because of the media. As we caution ourselves, train our will and resolves, try to discipline ourselves against the dreadful sickness, we pray to our Blessed Mother, asking for the grace of sincerity steadfastness and commitment to our responsibilities and obligations. We earnestly ask for Mary's help for the grace of mortification of the senses, will and desires. Fourth, a case of chastity, purity and morality. It is a common knowledge that the media is the devil's greatest weapon on this earth. Beyond the spread of false information, the media provides the easiest channel for impurities, unchastity and immorality. Pornography has not only become the order of the day, but also one of the biggest industries in the media. Millions continue to lose their souls to the devil because of pornography. 
filthy, seductive and immoral pictures, videos and music, and other forms of adulterated media contents. We must pray daily to Mary for the grace to shake off ourselves from this cancerous option in life and remain disentwined and appalled by these contents. We pray to Mary for the grace to engage ourselves meaningfully whenever we use the media. Fifth, makeshift, make-believe, and a dangerous world. In a world where makeshift, make-believe, and unrestricted use of the social media rules, it has become a question of who is today's prey. Social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and others have become for many an avenue to live inauthentic and false life. Some have been completely swallowed by this falsity that they are no more at par with the real world. Many have lost jobs, opportunities, contracts, valuable friends, families, colleagues, all because of this unreal world. Some have lost their pride, dignity, respect, and value just to belong. Some have been abused, cyberbullied, or lured to their death, either by their carelessness, ignorance, or lack of suspicion. As God's children, we must daily, continually, and always hold on, pray, and run to the protection of Mother Mary from this hydra-headed evil. We pray to Mary for the grace to evade the agents of this dangerous world and embrace the blessings therein. Sixth, a beautiful world, an example of Carlo Apetis. Surely, the media has very positive and beautiful signs. We pray to Mary for the grace to align ourselves, thoughts, desires and actions to the positive contributions the media has for us in this world. We pray to Mary to be like blessed Carlo Acutis, the patron saint of the internet, who utilized the positive side of the media, especially the social media for evangelization. He was a teenager of this current media age who died of leukemia in 2006 at the age of 15 and was beatified on October 10, 2020. He was an internet sensation who recorded Eucharistic miracles online and helped run websites for Catholic organizations. We pray to Mother Mary for the grace to utilize our talents for the spread of the gospel through the media like Blessed Carlo Acutis.